Hello, everybody. My name is Karachek, and I'm back in the grave bringing you another episode of Shudder. In the last episode, we did Chapter 3, this little bastard fainting messed with me again, and we heard a really annoying staticky sound, so... It looks like Chapter 4 is all there is to it. I think there's a little bit more down here, but I'm not sure. I think these are just regular reports. Yeah, they're just stuff to read, so we can read that after the game. I heard those were spoilers, so... Blah, 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 blah. And time for super annoying static noise. Now, I'm trying a new way of recording trying a new setting that's supposed to be better so let me know how it sounds i apologize if it's not too good i hope it's good i just, I just realized i don't remember i don't remember that bird what the hell is it is it coming from inside the house Sounds like it's coming from inside the house. Hmm. Am I wrong? No, well, it's coming from outside the house. Why am I moving so slow all of a sudden? Oh. Um. Uh, see, I'm just, I'm randomly moving slow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh no, there. Are. Hi, guys. Oh, oh, so that's what's happened. Oh, I got an achievement. Cool. April 24th, 1936. I, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, God. It all happened so fast. Those damn crows. The hell with them. They brought this. They brought him. I was outside causing a commotion, and I just wanted them quiet. But when the lightning struck, I saw it. I saw my place in the ground, a premonition. He was coming for me. I tried friendly to get back inside, but the doors had all blown shut. The whispers were piercing, perched atop my shoulders. I could hear him everywhere. But I saw it. The shovel. He was coming towards me. Metal and bone and the body crumpling to the foot ground. He's still there now, silent. The whispers have stopped. They'll never believe me. They'll say it was all my fault. This is my fault. I have to hide him. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Hello? Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Hello, Ghostbird. Am I supposed to... Okay... Housekeeping? There's nothing there though. Dick broke my camera. That's not cool. Can I send that in there? Oh, it doesn't even show my camera's bust. Oh no, it's Satan! Jesus Christ! Yeah, I got nothing with that one. I was gonna say Santa, but then I realized that's the wrong name. You might get upset. He's already upset. I don't think he wants to be any more upset with me. Um. Hmm. Oh. Did you say a terrorist attack? Is it, is it, are you trying to warn me about 9-11, Satan? Like, it's, it's a little late there, but... I'm so confused. I'm assuming I have to time it properly. Is it... Oh. Holy shit! Well, I don't think that's the kind of picture you- uh, That is totally a ghost. This photo is making me shudder. I need to show this to the queue. We'll be back in a few minutes. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry it's a crotch shot, dude. I didn't mean to- Maybe you're- Maybe he's into that. I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, we're gonna die. Oh! I didn't sign up for that. I did not, I didn't, no. No. That does not make sense. I did not sign up for that. Guarantee that drone for us. It's worth more than your life. Oh, okay. I'm totally, well, I'm boned. Oh, what up, dude? I apologize for taking a picture of your crotch. It was not intentional. It was, you just can't. You ruined the shot, it's not my fault. I'm sure you understand. There's the graffiti, awesome. Hi. Ow. Fucking rude. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, lady, how you doing? Sorry for trying to console you, Jesus Christ. Apparently she does not want to be comforted. Oh, okay. I don't want to interrupt because I like this music. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. What of it? Do you have a problem with me, weird glowing orb lady? Oh god, she does. This is really annoying. Oh no! Not the spoopening! Oh, apparently I'm digging too deep. I got an achievement. That's your grief. <laughs> Hold it. You have a strangely metallic head. It sounds like a, it sounds like a, or a, or a glass bowl with a marble rolling around in it, but hey. Well, that appears to be the end of Shudder. Um, interesting game. I enjoyed it. It was a gift, so I'm, I'm more than happy to play it. Alright, officer's report. Let's see this. How many of these are there? Oh, okay, there's about three of them. I'm okay with that. Reporting officer, Constable Darren Brimley, April 24th, 1936. Description at 8.36 p.m. on the evening of April 24th, 1936, a woman by the name of Mary Hemsworth entered the police station looking noticeably distraught and panicked. She claimed that her husband, Charles Hemsworth, had left the house that night after supper had not returned. Uh, and had not returned. At further questioning, we were able to ascertain the following information. Charles had a history, erratic mood swings, and would often leave the house to go for evening walks in the woods to clear his head, as he put it. However, he would always return to her a few hours later. There was also times when she would occasionally wake in the middle of the night to find Charles missing. Although she was concerned, he, is, he was never injured and he always seemed to notice to become her upon his return. But she saw no reason to alert anyone as she had become accustomed to his absence despite his lack of explanation as to where he was. Their house was a small place in the fairly remote location of Forest Hill Road. Actions taken. Immediately upon hearing the rendition of events from Mrs. Hemworth, I traveled to the Forest Hill Road area to question the few surrounding residents. Upon arriving at 31934 Forest Hill Road at approximately 10.30 p.m., I was greeted by the owner of the cabin, Miss Valerie Collins, who had recently reported that she was hearing strange sounds around her cabin, although I was unaware at the time that she was the owner and sole resident of the place. She promptly allowed me in. When I asked her about the disturbances she had reported to us earlier, I saw what seemed like a mass smile. Then she decided that she hadn't heard anything at all that night and had been readily reading peacefully since her dinner. When asked if she had seen anyone resembling Mr. Hamster, she could reply with, You're the first visitor here in months. I then asked Miss Collins if I could do a quick sweep of the property. She seemed hesitant at first and then nodded quietly. As I searched the premises, she began to grow more and more uneasy and at points became irritable. She began leaning towards the front door, hoping that I would follow her lead. Upon entering the backyard, I observed what seemed to be a shovel with a dent on the bottom side of the metal portion. Before I was able to question Miss Collins about it, she, was quick she quickly spread out the words, I hit a rock while I was gardening. As I left the cabin, Miss Collins said something ominous that seemed out of character. She stopped me by the arm and stopped co stared coldly in my eyes. All she did was, I hope you find him, Constable. The woods are so dark, you never know what could be out there. 
Other than some erratic behavior, I found no reason to bring Miss Collins in for more questioning, although I'm not completely ready to rule her out of the case altogether. As of this point, the whereabouts of Mr. Hemsworth are still unaccounted for. Fall update, May 2nd, 1901. Five years have passed since the disappearance of Charles Hemsworth. After interviewing the surrounding residents of the Forest Hill Road area, we have come to what seems to be a dead end in the case. From the interviews we have that we have held, we have been able to learn that almost all the residents had heard or witnessed, so it seemed like a thin man lurking in the woods late at night, whispering to himself in a deep voice. No one was able to provide an accurate description of the person. Many described the figure to be around 5'8", 5'10", in height with a slim build similar to Mr. Hemsworth. Many of them often recalled seeing the figure moving towards the direction of 3193 Fortis Hill Road as well. As we found no signs of struggle at 3193, we've been forced to rule it out as the possible location of Mr. Hemsworth's disappearance. The window of the victim, Mary, he the widow of the he victim, Mary Hemsworth, actually seemed to be adjusting well to the loss of her husband. It was noticeably happier when we interviewed her last, stating that life goes on. I guess. Current case status: Although he is currently presumed to be deceased, the case of the disappearance of Mr. Charles Hemsworth is still open and being investigated. All right. Well, that will be it for Shutter. That was a pretty fun little game. I will probably get back into recording Transistor, and I've been debating getting Dead by Daylight and possibly streaming that. Um, I'd like to stream Overwatch or record that, but I'm not sure if I could handle that with my internet and computer, but we'll see. Right now, I'm just kind of looking into getting back into recording. So with that, I hope that the new settings are better than before. I hope it sounds all right. But I'm going to have a great Thank you all so much for watching. I ah, sorry, I completely choked to my words. I'm Heather Gray, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Welcome to town, everyone.